like to welcome you to the basic math for HVAC technicians. Please listen through this course introduction before you go through anything, any of the other assignments. This will provide you with some important information. Math is present in all aspects of the HVAC trade. We deal with temperature differences, measuring and calculating building areas. You'll see it on installation when you're measuring and calculating ductwork. You'll see it on service calls when you're trying to figure out temperature differences. You're going to do customer billing and you're going to have to complete paperwork. You cannot get away from math. For some of you, this course may be a review. For some of you, course course may remind you of concepts learned earlier in school. We've divided this course into six lessons. We're going to deal first with real numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Then we're going to do the same with fractions and decimal fractions. We're going to talk about percentages, base, rate, and portions. We're then going to calculate area and volume. And we're also, as we go through, going to talk about units of measure. Each section of the course will have one or more short lectures you should view and listen to, a discussion question which you should read and respond to, sometimes there will be more than one, a reading assignment in your textbook with assigned end of chapter questions, a short assessment at the end of each lesson. You should pass these assessments with a grade of 70 or above. You need to, as you go through, you need to read all assignments, you need to view all the lectures, you need to participate in all discussion boards, and you need to complete your written work on time. Because this is an online course, you need to be able to communicate with your instructor. Use email and take a look at the syllabus for the course for more information on instructor communication. You need to complete this course with a 70. You should anticipate a time commitment of 15 hours per week for the four weeks of this course to be successful in the class. So let's begin. To get started, please click on Lesson 1. Begin with the lecture, participate in the first discussion board, and continue to work through the assignments and reading. Again, I want to stress, please ask questions as needed. Thank you.